morning, welcome to my channel Fats Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've lost 181 pounds so far on a ketogenic journey. I call it a journey because I've gained so much water weight and other kind of weight back and forth, back and forth, staying on keto. Um, that it's more like I've lost 300 pounds and it's been an EKG, not a slope and not stairs. Mine has been all over the place. I have to retreat, retake stuff back and forth in and out of my diet. That's completely insane and can drive you nuts. Saturday, I did fell and I did have about 50 net carbs or less. I am trying to do um, Dr. Eric Westman's page four, which is 20 total carbs a day and a small ingredients list. Um, and I totally fell um, on that. This was supposed to be my morning week three weigh in and I have one week left. However, I had already gained two pounds Saturday morning before I fell. So I've decided to starting this morning, Monday morning, I'm doing an egg fast for three days. Then I will weigh in because yeah, I know what I weighed in this morning when I stepped on the scale. Okay. I will go ahead and tell you it was 197. 197 which means because I just put on six pounds well I put on two pounds of I don't know what kind of weight before the boo-boo and I put on let me make sure I get it right that would be uh, one, four pounds I think six seven yeah no three I put on three pounds for um, <clears throat> the boo-boo um, so that is, no, I think I'm doing my math wrong. No, it is something like that. I'm so tired. I was 191, put on two pounds, 193, put on four pounds, 197. There we go. I am doing it right. So I put on four pounds for my boo-boo, two pounds of no boo-boos, no nothing, no reason why. So, I'm trying to get off seven pounds here in the next three days and see what my weight should be. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you what I've had for breakfast so far. Day one of my egg fast, I've had a collagen coffee, and I'm having three eggs and one ounce of cheese. First meal of the day. Okay, so I'm on my second collagen coffee for the day. It's, um... One o'clock here. Normally it's two. Everything's messed up. I got to get used to the change. I will tell you, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to handle this egg fast. I know I wanted everyone to join me in it. Um, but I have been doing nothing but almost throwing up since I ate the eggs this morning. Um, it's caused severe heartburn, severe nausea. And this happened last time, but it was on day three that actually started throwing up like crazy. Um, I haven't even made it one mil yet and I feel horrible. I had three eggs. Um, I usually eat one or two eggs max a day. Um, so I don't know. I might have to throw some pork loin in there. I can't throw hamburger meat in there because hamburgers may have me, been making me throw up unless I take myself to Bert McDonald's and get theirs. There's isn't even enough meat to, and I don't know what it is. All I know is theirs don't affect me. Um, so the two pound weight gain before the boo boo, um, kind of upset me because this is supposed to be like, most people talk about how they don't go up on page four, how it always works perfect. Well, I was on a lot of water weight, and I had lost nine, minus two now, so that's seven, but I was on 13 pounds of water weight. I expected in three weeks to be able to take all of it off. Um, and yes, I get it. I caused my own issue Saturday. Um, so I'm going to finish this week. I will let y'all know if I fell at this egg fast, because the nausea is like for reals, like really bad. Um... But, um, 
I kind of think I already know how I stand about page four. It's a great tool if you're new to keto. It gives you a very strict window. It would probably be a great tool if you're stalled and you're not like me with so many limitations that it just makes it, my limitations worse. Um, what I've decided. I was going to wait and tell y'all what I decided um, after the whole four weeks was up. Um, so after the four weeks is up, I've decided since it's the month of November and December's coming around and I don't want to mess up again like I did um, on Saturday. It wasn't a huge mess up. It was 50 net carbs. Um, and I don't even know if it was that much to be truthful. It was like 10 carbs and some M&Ms and then one and a half Oreos and some topping off of a pizza. That's what I did. Um, there are so many Thanksgiving keto friendly things I want to make and create and do videos for y'all. And I don't want to focus on my weight loss. So I'm going to focus on staying keto. Um, if I lose weight, I'm going to be thrilled. Um, but we all know when I eat any almond flour, coconut flour, any vegetables, anything, I gain weight or I stall. This girl has been 100% focused on her weight loss for over two years now. Every day, every month for two years. So I'm not going in maintenance mode, as some people have been calling it. They usually go in it through the holiday and then they start losing again. However, you might want to call it that. I don't know. All I know is I'm going to make some keto-friendly cornbread, some keto-friendly dressings, some keto-friendly pumpkin pies, some keto-friendly comfort food that I have been missing that doesn't allow me to lose weight not because my blood sugar goes up or anything, just because I hold water weight really bad from those things. Um, and it's going to be okay. And I'm going to do it the month of November and December. If my weight starts to go up, you know, and I'm not doing it every day. I'm talking about the weekends or a couple videos a week. And that's when I will eat those foods. The rest of the time I'll stick with my spinach salad or just stick ketovore. Or, you know, I'm going to mix it up. I just realized that all these years focusing on losing weight every moment, it's all I talk about people, like I have nothing else in my life, nothing else to talk about. So, um, I want to do recipes for y'all. I came up with a lot of recipes the first year, but I was too scared to get on YouTube. So, we're going to make some of those. Um, and that's what I was planning on doing anyways until I... Realized I was in this insane up and down stall that just is not budging. And it's not budging. Not budging. So, at the end of the year, I might be able to say I lost 60 pounds this month, year, the whole year. Um, but that's okay because some people can't say they lost anything and it's because of their body, not because of them, not because they're messing up. It's because we all have stupid asinine bodies. Yes, I said a bad word. Um... Maybe that's not such a bad word. I don't know. Sounds like a bad word if it's not. Um, but yeah, some of us have really stupid bodies, and some people have bodies way worse than me. And one second. Okay, it's my baby on the phone, but before I forget what I was saying, I was just basically trying to say ignore him. I was trying to say, um, sometimes our bodies We'll fight against us no matter how good we do. So maybe we just need a break. Maybe my mind is so stressed out from having to be perfect keto. And I'm staying keto, but perfect keto for my body, which is basically meat and cheese. And not even that much cheese. Only like two ounces a day. Um, or I don't lose weight, but I'm also very unhealthy. My body actually needs the spinach and stuff. And... Even if nightshades do cause me inflammation and cause my weight to go up some, I feel better when I'm eating some pizza sauce and stuff like that, honestly. So, this next week I'm going to continue after the week is over. 
I am definitely just going back to normal, real, basic keto. Hold on, honey. Normal, basic keto so I can um, not feel so stressed. Like, the stress is unbelievable. Um, and as long as my weight doesn't go up, like above what it is right now as long as my weight doesn't go up i'm going to just continue that through the holidays because every time i try to fight my way against the holidays every year i've gone up weight even though i've been perfect without going off a of keto without cheating for christmas or anything i go up and wait so maybe if i'm not stressing and i make those keto pumpkin pie and i relax and enjoy the holiday and enjoy life and not focus a million times Maybe my weight will start going off. Maybe it's stress and a mental thing. You never know. Um, but I'm going to let y'all go right now before he says something ridiculous or pretends to be a chicken, which he loves to do. Um, and then I'm going to show y'all what I eat. It's supposed to be eggs. But if I end up throwing up, please don't get mad at me if I add some, like, pork meat or something in this and less eggs. Um, that's why I usually call it a fat fast instead of egg fast because... I don't know how y'all can eat some eggs without throwing up. Maybe I'll try tomorrow morning and I'll eat two eggs. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to, right now I'm at three eggs. You're supposed to eat at least six a day. So all I have to do is get down three more eggs and I should be good today. And I'm going to try. Okay, so I'm freezing. Yes, I'm still in my PJs. Um, I got really sick from the eggs this morning like really bad um so I know I can eat one sometimes two eggs and no cheese at the same time and I'm okay but I can't eat a lot of eggs so I'm going back to my original fat fast so if y'all want to switch over you can if you want to stick to eggs you can so usually on an egg fast I would eat between six and eight eggs and about four ounces of cheese and some butter for the day um, and sometimes some mayonnaise so I've done the math and converted over um, I had one ounce of cheese this morning and three eggs so that left me at least three or four more eggs and three more ounces of cheese um, plus some mayonnaise if I wanted so I'm going to have four ounces of ribeye instead um, that will actually be a little less fat, or right around the same. So, two and a half ounces of ribeye is the same amount of fat grams as, and calories, because I'm going to cut the fat off. I don't eat the fat on the ribeye. Um, as the, um, eggs and the cheese. So, it all convert over that I'm not eating any more fat. I'm not eating any more carbs. It's actually less carbs. The beef has less carbs than if I was to eat the eggs. Each egg has more than a half a carb a piece. So, um, and also each ounce of my cheese has one carb a piece. So basically the whole thing about egg fast is you're trying to keep your carbs on total carbs as low as possible. It normally equals around 10 to 12 a day. Um, of total carbs. That's what I've been doing on the page four plan in the first place. So I had the one carb from the cheese this morning. Um, we'll say one and a half um, carbs from the egg. So that's two and a half carbs. And then the steak doesn't have carbs. And then my um, two coffees a day equal a little over um, one carb. So I think doing it this way, I'm going to be eating even less carbs than if I do just cheese and eggs. So it's a pretty good sized steak. I'm going to weigh it out into four ounces. Um, it should give me steak for two or three days. It might be enough for all three days. Plus, I'll still be eating some eggs here there. there. I did bowl some eggs. Sometimes I can get away with eating bold eggs way easier than I can get away. I gotta flip the steak. Then I can get away with um, fried eggs or scrambled. Like, I shouldn't eat them scrambled. I throw up every time I eat scrambled eggs. Don't ask me why. Yeah, I still have Halloween decorations that I need to put away. You just saw them all on the porch. Because I had a bad night that night later on. I was just carb 
carb-fied yesterday, not doing so well. Ow. Doing so well after all those carbs. Something bit me last night, too. I don't know if y'all can see that. It made the perfect circle, and it really hurts. Um, I'll show y'all the steak. Um, it's probably about 8 ounces, but I weigh everything just to make sure I don't want to go over. Because I'm trying to keep the carb count, fat count, calorie count all the same as, well, it'll be less carbs than if I was just doing plain egg fast. Um, so if you want to switch over to a fat fast, you can if, if you're doing this. If you want to stay with just the egg fast, go right ahead. The whole thing is just to try to go as low as carbs, get some fat, get some calories in there, and see if it helps. It's supposed to, it helped me last time get rid of all my water weight, so we'll see. And I did the steak, and I did hamburger meat every night, so I did like beef and eggs and cheese and butter last time too. Um, so... Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of excited to, yeah, I want my weight to go down. I'm crazy excited for my weight to go down, but I'm really excited to take a two-month mental break and just do keto like normal. I know how to maintain, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go up in weight, but to be able to be like, well, I don't feel like cooking. I'm going to go get me kiss my keto bar instead because I don't do nuts on this version or or any version when I'm trying to lose weight um and it's really hard but so yeah it'll be nice to be like I want a piece of pumpkin pie so me and my daughter is going to make a keto friendly version we are going because she's allergic to nuts we are going to make a coconut flour crust um I'm coming up with the recipe myself so that she can eat it too and it will be keto friendly for me low carb for her and no allergies for either one of us. Um, and I'm <clears throat> going to make a cornbread. I'm going to try, um, a few different ones and see which one I like the best to be used in, um, a keto dressing for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm hoping the pork rind one that I've heard a lot of people talk about will work because that way my daughter can have it too. Um, if not, she can just eat normal and I can just have the almond flour guy. So I'm really excited because look, this is my third Christmas and Thanksgiving on keto and my thing I miss the most about Thanksgiving is the dressing. So I'm just gonna make a keto version. I've never let myself really use too much almond flours or too many coconut flours or or any of those kind of things. The first year I ate whatever. Um, but this whole past year, I've been so, so strict. Um, other than when I go to Hawaii, that becomes very dirty, lazy keto. Um, and that might be what threw me off. I was doing really good until I went there. Yeah. So, um, and he's calling right now. Give me one second. It's like he has a radar on and knows I'm recording and knows when right to call and interrupt me. No clue what I was saying. But I'm going to show you my dinner. I got sick of waiting for it to finish cooking, so we're eating the steak very raw tonight. I don't know why it was taking so long. It was on there for 45 minutes, and uh, it's still just as raw as if I just stuck it on there. So it's three ounces of steak and one deviled egg with a teeny tiny bit of mayonnaise, no mustard. Um, and a lot of salt pepper. So I'm going to try that. Um, hopefully I can hold that down. But I'm not really sure. The steak is not settling. I took a bite about 10 minutes ago. And I don't know. Nothing seems to be settling. I just... Maybe I got a touch of a little virus. I don't know. I think it's from me eating the carbs the other night. That's what I truthfully think it is. Um, but on a happy note... I can't wait for Saturday. Let me tell you, it's going to be so much fun. Um, for who is new here and don't know, Keto Diamond, who has a YouTube channel, who's lost tons of crazy weight, who also has tons of issues with nightshades and things that should be keto friendly aren't. Um, we are going to a Renaissance festival together. Um, and tomorrow night, as long as I feel good, I'm driving two hours to go to Dr. Eric Westman's um, 
support group. They do it once a month and yeah, I'm going as long as I feel okay. So, um, on that note, I'm going to try to eat this, um, and I'll let y'all know how it goes. Okay, so, <sighs> I ended up eating half of one of the half of eggs, so like a quarter egg. Um, after the bite, I felt extremely nauseous instantly, like I do right now, so I'm having some hot coffee, just normal coffee right now. Um, I don't think my body likes eggs, people. Because I was feeling really great and my weight was going really good. And then I started eating eggs again all the time. Oh, who is calling me? <clears throat> I started eating eggs again. Hold on. Oh, that was Sarah, my student loan representative. Yeah, I've never been to college. I hate spam calls. They drive me crazy. But... I'm starting to wonder if it's the egg, if it's the issue, because I'm starting to be the nauseous again. I'm starting to throw up again. I'm starting to go up in weight again. Like, I went up in weight without a reason um, on Saturday morning, and the only difference is I've started eating eggs again the last couple of weeks, and I haven't felt so great. Um, I think I need to stick with just eating eggs in stuff or one egg a day, not multiple ones. Um... I suck because I wanted y'all all to do an egg fast with me, and I want to do it. <sighs> I'm going to try again tomorrow morning, though. I'm going to stick to two eggs only, though, not three, and no cheese. So, I'm not giving up yet, okay? I'm not giving up yet. I'm still trying again tomorrow. And I also know that I can eat McDonald's um, hamburger patties, just the McDouble type ones, the tiny little thin ones. I can eat four of those um, with my own cheese because their cheese is nasty and it has tons of carbs. It's like two carbs a slice or something for fake cheese. So I'm going to go buy me a bunch of those to add to my fat fast because I've done them the past in the last week and they never make me sick. Ever. Probably because of only two ounces of whatever kind of meat. I don't know. But <laughs> they never ever make me feel sick. So I might be doing beef and cheese a lot for the next two days. Um, Because I'm not giving up. I want a fat fast for at least three days. I want it to be eggs and stupid me. Thought it could be. And it so can't. Trust me, people. I've already thrown up twice today. So <laughs> no more eggs by itself. Um, one or two max. <laughs> so, oh yeah, definitely. Hello, McDonald's tomorrow. They're gonna look at me and be like, "You want what?" They always do. I just want to buy McDoubles with nothing but the meat, nothing else. And why I do that instead of per patty? Because per patty is a dollar, and for a dollar thirty, you can have two patties and the cheese and stuff if you want it. Um, so yeah. I'm not going to ring them up as patties. I don't care if it makes more sense to you. I ain't paying the extra 75 cents per patty. Sorry. Well, I guess 75 cents per two patties. But ain't happening. No, no, no. This girl is saving money, not wasting it. Uh-uh. Sorry, wasting it, buying their little tiny bits because it's only like four ounces for like, what? A dollar forty, a dollar fifty for four ounces. Um... But it makes me not feel sick. <laughs> and then I can do the whole fast thing with no problem. So that's what I am doing tomorrow. Going to pick up some patties. Enough for two days. Um, then I'll be happy too because I really love eating those things. And I already have the American cheese. So, yeah. So mine's turning more into a uh, beef and cheese fast. <laughs> so... I'm so sorry. <laughs> but that's the thing about keto or any diet in the world is you have to listen to your body. If your body says, like, gets nauseous over something, don't eat it. If your nose starts stopping up, like mine still is, so it could be the eggs and not the carbs the other day, don't eat it. If your body says you need sleep, well, Go to sleep if you can. I get it. We all have jobs. Well, y'all have jobs and kids and I have jobs I don't get paid for. But yeah, yeah, I get it. You can't just always sleep. But you got to listen to your body. 
if your body says it needs a timeout on that couch and you can do it because nothing else is stopping you, go do your timeout on that couch. Um, cause everything matters. I really am really starting to think, and I think, uh, Michelle from Life Adventures and Keto for this for making me do the meditation for a month. I am, it made me, I couldn't get my mind to shut up most of the days. It made me think about how much stress, how hard and focused I have been all summer long on losing weight. And I was not enjoying my everyday life because I was so focused on trying to get weight off me. Um, I bet that's my baby. One second. Spam callers. So, um, doing the meditation, it made me really start thinking about, you know, I'm missing out on a lot. And I missed out on the holidays the last two years. This would be the third year around. Um, because I was so focused on, oh my gosh, don't accidentally eat any stuffing. Don't accidentally do this. You know, you gotta be a certain weight by this holiday and by that and blah, blah, blah. So I've decided, like I said earlier, we're not gonna focus on the weight loss right now. Hopefully I will go down and weight, but we are just going to do keto like I watch other people do keto. Like, um, I think her name is Catherine Michelle. She doesn't talk about how much weight she loses or what her weight is at all. Um, she just shows everyone her exercising, what her clothes, her what she's eating that day, and she seems to be really happy, and she's absolutely beautiful. She is very a very beautiful person inside and out. She gets a lot of haters out there, um, and she shouldn't. She's just so sweet and amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a card out of her book. Will I still weigh in and let y'all know each week? Yeah, I'm still going to weigh in each week because... <laughs> If I'm going up in weight, that's a new new. Um, so we'll know, hey, don't eat that coconut flour. And I'm going to have to be really careful and also take my blood sugars a lot because I'm no longer on metformin either. So my body doesn't know how to process any kind of insulin release in my body at all. I've been on metformin for so many years that that could be one of my issues right now too. So... It's mostly going to be beef and cheese the next two days. I don't know if there's going to be an egg in there at all now. Just that half an egg has made me sick. This is ridiculous. Um, and we're going to do a lot of cooking videos this month. I'm really excited, but I want to go ahead and finish this week off because I promised four weeks on page four. I did have a boo-boo. Um, but that was one boo-boo out of four whole weeks, and I really am mad about boo-booing though because I didn't want to not for the four weeks but I'm not I'm disappointed in myself because it was a really rough moment and I am very proud of myself for not going down the rabbit hole even more it was one and a half Oreo and some M&Ms and pizza topping that's a miracle for me when I would have traveled down that rabbit hole so much I would have went and got my favorite pizza and I would have went and got me some donuts and ate them and then thought about fixing and going back to keto a couple of days later. So yeah, nope. I'm very proud of myself for that. So, and I am already researching about what kind of dishes I want to make. And I usually don't follow anyone's recipes. I usually make my own up because most of the time it's either ingredients I can't really have or my daughter can't have or I just know I'm not going to like the taste of it so much. And I like to play around and make my own stuff. So, we are going to do that this month. We are going to be making cornbread in one of my videos. Then the next video, we'll be making using that cornbread to make some dressing. I might make it two different ways and then decide which one I'm going to make for Thanksgiving. So, we are going to have dressing like uh, twice this month at least, maybe three times. We'll see. We're also going to be working on pumpkin pies. Um... And a few other of my favorite things. I just got to figure out which ones I want to do or I think I can do keto. Wait until next month. We're in December, we're getting into chili and all kind of stuff because my family does nachos for Christmas Eve. So I will be making a keto chili. And I don't usually like the chips anyways. Um, 
So I will be able this year to actually eat almost like they're eating, except I won't have beans in my chili. And my chili's base will mainly be like a chicken stock with some of this um, tomato sauce and a lot of seasoning, but it won't have all the carbs from all the crushed tomatoes and tomato sauces and tomato pastes. Um, it won't have any of the sugars, but it'll still taste like chili and it won't have the beans, but it'll still give me the taste that I want because I'm using a lot of hamburger meat in it and maybe even some chicken. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it. I got a whole month of December to play around with that chili and some other stuff like snowballs. I'm going to make snowballs. Um, we're going to have some fun because I haven't got to have fun and do cooking videos like I've wanted. Um, when I started this, I wanted to do cooking videos at least one or two a week. Um, and I haven't because I've been so focused on my weight and realizing that all these foods stall me out. And if I cook them and eat them, I'm stalled and I'm not having progress. Um, so, oh well, no progress for two months. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't, but that's not going to be the focus. We're going to have some fun. As long as I don't go up in weight, like I can, like where I am now, some water weight, that's okay. Um, and we're going to have some fun because it's about time. And uh, yeah, sometime this week, I'm putting my Christmas tree up. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're going to just have to see it early. Um, but we will see. Maybe I'll weigh in tomorrow because I weighed in today at 197.6. So I will weigh in tomorrow. Hopefully I can remember the weight. I need to write it down somewhere. I didn't put it on my app. I did not want to see that on my app. Um, but I'll weigh in tomorrow and see if any of the water weight went down. And then and we'll just go on and weigh every single day from now on. I am kind of miss weighing in every day, even if it's bad, if it's good, it doesn't, like, I'm happy when it's good, but even if it's bad, I just like to hold myself accountable, and it's easier, um, but like I said, I'm still going to weigh in, <laughs> but if it doesn't go down, oh well, I'm trying to take their stress off of myself, and I'm trying to tell myself it's okay to be stalled and just be where you are right now. I was really, really happy on Halloween, how cute I looked and how I felt, and that's what really matters. Okay, so I'm not 138, 148, 160, um, but I looked adorable and cute, and I was wearing smaller clothes than I have since I was 13 years old, so that's a win. Okay, I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to shut up. I think it's a long video. I don't know. I've lost track today. I've ran my mouth a lot. It's called being in a house completely alone and going insane a boredom. I get to drive y'all crazy.